There is a there is a YM long roller coaster now on on the one minute, two one six o one. I'd probably go with six o three or something, uh, and then you actually trade it as a fifth wave trade as well. So an MYM could be on the cards here if we can break up through there. So two one six o three. Right, cancel that long on MYM. It's going to, well, let's, let's leave it, let's leave it. It's not broken the stop. Bounced off that channel quite nicely, that short-term channel, MYM. Let's move that going off for now. Micro 60s coming up. It's going to take us out the stop in a minute. The US dollar's coming down and it's taken us into the long. So let's get to 60. Cancel the, uh, cancel the uh, MYM for now. Okay, we've got to get back to the MYM. Remember, we were looking at a 21603 entry long. 21603 entry long. Did find support again at this short term channel. Just needs to push through this pivot, basically. Uh, there's a long roller coaster on the one minute here, then a potential fifth wave on the three minute and on the five minute okay and that entry on the one minute roller coaster is above this pivot here on this three minute that's where i got that from so i'm combining roller coaster and alley wave here we're coming back up on my end now look. let's see if we can break up through there and my m's in uh, reasonably aggressive below this pivot on the stock guys against my normal judgment but things are so whippy these days 21434 is the stop, but let's just see if we can get it risk free pretty quick. So you can get a bit of a runner here. Center line of the channel is pretty important there, I would say. Not yet. It's that ES at that resistance zone. If, it, if that can push through there, boy, we're going to fly today. Imagine a couple of months ago, this thing was <laughs> moving so slowly. <laughs> Again, <clears throat> let's look at the S and show you the, this is the, the problem MO today. Remember, I talked about the six, the 382 retracement. Look at it come down and test there and reject earlier today. Now it's come up to test that overnight high zone. Boom, come back down again. And this is holding up everything else. IQ's just hit a good resistance zone as well. But it's this ES that's the issue. If this can push through here, things will fly. If it can't, we'll be stuck in a range. Okay, it looks like ES wants to have another go at that um, resistance zone. Took some heat on that YM trade, but it's back in profit now, guys. Testing these highs again. Got to get through the center line of the channel for me. That'd be really great. Ooh, we're pushing now, guys. Not going to adjust the stop yet. I know we're frigging 50 ticks or whatever to the good. I just want to follow the, the one minute roller coaster. So we're trading the fifth wave on the three minute. We're also trading the one minute roller coaster. We've not printed a trading stock yet. So I just want to let it run a little longer. If you want to play safe, guys, you can put, put it at break even right now. You know, we're 50, 60, 70 ticks to the good or whatever it is. Okay, so, you know, you're pretty safe. If you want to play it safe and take the risk off the table, make it risk free at 21604. It's a good looking trade. 603 was the entry. We're at 686. 80 ticks. Woo! Yes, still trying to push through that resistance zone for that overnight high. Come on, yes. You're the deciding factor here. You've got to push through there. Walmart, new highs of the day. That should help this YM. Okay, we're at 95 now. This is getting pretty interesting here. Nearly at a, we're at 90 ticks for this move. Yes, made a slight new high. Tipped to the midpoint of yesterday's range and came back into that zone so i'm keeping an eye on now off screen is this move here tick the midpoint if we can get through there this ym should run as well 100 ticks guys a few months ago would you be believing he was doing 100 tick moves go on risk free now 120 ticks this is ridiculous so we've printed the trailing stop now you see on the one minute and that's what i'm going on by now okay this one's printed 
where we are, right, 6.02, I'm a 6.04, so I'm risk free, so I've got slippage. And then every minute it closes, I'm going to adjust. We're still over 100 ticks into this trade, guys. We've got to close above that zone on ES, which is very, very good. If it can just push up through that midpoint now, that would be great. Okay, 6.11 is now my trading stop position. 2.1611 trading stop. Just going to use that one minute. Remember, this trade I was a combination of the roller coaster on the one minute and the potential fifth wave move on the three minute. So what I'm doing to manage it now is gone reverted back to that one minute roller coaster uh, and I'm using that uh, trading stop position every time it prints. 2611, 21611 is a trading stop position right now. 130 ticks guys, 130 ticks. 623 is now the trading stop. 21623 trading stop position now. So just to remind you guys on the left there, this is the one minute. I'm just following the roller coaster, okay? Nothing special here. It's just tipped a new wave five high. So we just tipped that previous wave three high. So it's gonna have a bit of a relax there. Really depends on what ES does here. It's struggling to keep above that uh, short-term resistance zone that we kept an eye on. Um, but stocks are doing pretty good right now. Let's see, the, the thing is, what we usually get around this previous wave three pivot, remember this was a recent high, we'll get a little bit of a relax, we're looking for this to uh, obviously, hopefully, uh, find support before there, before our stop at 21603, uh, and that's where we are on there. So remember, we're going to be changing this in a minute as well. When this candle closes, it'll be a 636, yeah. Okay, 21637 is now my trading stop position, so we're locking in 34 ticks now. Let's see if it can break through and close above this previous wave three pivot on the right there on the uh, on the third, on the three minute. NQ's pushed through its resistance zone. ES struggling still. Okay, we just had a candle close, so we're adjusting now. 21644 now, 21644 trading stop position. So it doesn't matter whether you're one contract, 10 contracts, or whatever at this moment in time, we're just using the trading stop from the roller coaster. If it takes it out, it takes it out. You see the, the importance of trying to correlate different, you know, like the roller coaster and the, the Elliott Wave in this case. Really, really important to get though that backup, if you like, for your thinking. Uh, that really, really does help. Okay, I'm adjusting. 21649 now is a trading stop position. Again, that one minute candle closed here, and that is a trading stop there at 21649. You're running out of juice a little bit here. ES really, really struggling to push through the midpoint of um, Friday's range. It's, it's pulling back into that short term resistance, support resistance zone from those overnight highs. Like you see, yes, midpoint of Friday's range. Didn't like it. Coming back down into this. Let's see if this can act as support. That'd be really great. Okay, another trading stop position adjust now. 654. 654 is now. So we're locking in nearly 50 ticks now. I just want to keep an eye out where, where we are if we can beat this previous high there. That'd be really cool. Just adjusting the stop now to 21660, 21660. What I like to do is trying to, um, as I said before, trying to get that backup from another indicator to help me understand, get the backup from the bits uh, bias indicator as well uh, to give me that um, confidence that that roller coaster. So I would not normally take a roller coaster off a of one minute with no other backup yet. Three or five minutes, still need the backup of the, um, the bias, if you like. Um, but other than that, it, I've no preference, really just depend on, uh, again, it's about feeling for the market as well, where it's going. Looking at ES, look at the resistance levels. 21664 is now the trailing stop, okay? So we're locking around 60 ticks now. Seems to be running out of juice, got some resistance here. ES coming back down again. So those that, um, you know, want to flatten fine, if not, I'm just gonna let it run, see what happens. It might, it might turn around and break up. We've got a bullish pennant forming here on the, on the one minute, okay? We, we are trailing just below the low of this bullish pennant. If it breaks to the upside, fine, we get a winner, winner, chicken dinner. If not, we take, get taken out and we take a 60 uh, tick uh, profit. So let's see how it goes. Two, one, triple six, trailing stop. Ooh, 666. Six, six. Those superstitious traders would not put their trading stopper there for that position. The dollar's in such a nasty range. We're going to get taken out trading stop here, guys, if we're not careful. Ooh. And then it shoots back up again. Well, the bias on the one, three, and five will all be the same anyway, because they take the 30 minute time frame as a higher time frame to give us that. Two, so the next trading start is 21671. 21671. That low there was exactly 2671. So I'm going to do a 2670. A nice bullish pennant forming here. Really nice. I mean, cool. 
you couldn't draw a better flag. It's just whether it can break out of it here. It's this previous wave three high that's the issue. Look at that for a little pennant there. Okay, we've got a new, ooh. 21676 now, 21676. Broken out of this pennant, we need a close above it and then a continuation can, whoa, there she goes. Green candle on ES there. There, she's broken it, come on. Okay, that candle's closed. 21683 now is your trading stop position. We're coming up to, whoa, that was nearly at 900, uh, 200 ticks there, guys. The fifth wave target zone starts at 21802. Okay, we're nearly at 200 ticks here. Crazy stuff, crazy stuff. Oh, ho, ho. 200 ticks. Okay, next trading stop position, 21694. Nice break out of that bullish pennant there, guys. Pretty textbook, actually. So, ES has broken away from that uh, overnight high support resistance zone. It's now approaching the next major resistance zone that I have at the 5K Club. So, um, be aware on that if you're trading ES. So, we've got a new candle closed there. 21701 is the new trading stop position. We're in the fifth wave target zone now, guys. We're at God knows how many ticks now. I've lost count. What was the entry? <laughs> We're 200 plus ticks in this trade anyway. And she's going further. Fifth wave target zone now. Boom. Holy moly. Trading one contract of a micro, $110 profit. Normal trading conditions do not get you that. 21604, we're at 21822. Over 200 ticks on this trade, 220 ticks now. <laughs> okay, got that candle closed. So 21714 now. So we've locked in more than 100 ticks now on profit. We are in the fifth wave target zone. This is, these are big FIB zones, guys, FIB levels. So if we start to see exhaustion uh, on the one minute, uh, or we start to see exhaustion on the ES or something like that, probably just flatten. Can't go much more aggressive unless we start to trail two candles behind. Now, if, we, if this is a one candle wonder, fine. But if this goes red again on this one minute candle, I'm gonna go to this level here, two ones. Yeah, it's coming down, look, okay? So let's just be prepared to go very aggressive on this, two candles, now rejected, it rejected. What's ES doing? Still green, still pushing, NQ's pushing really strong right now. 21722 is now the trading stop. 21722. For those in the 6E trade, you're back in profit by two ticks now. If you wanna get out and take that risk off because that dollar is not, you're not liking the trade, now's the time to do it. 21730, now the trading stop position, 21730. So we've locked in 124 ticks. So I'm gonna tighten up here. I was just gonna mention this now. We've had this pivot pullback. So I'm gonna go very tight and try and stop to 21790, 21790. All the way up here. 21790, trying to stop just below this pivot now, look, okay? So we've locked in uh, almost 200 ticks there, not far off, 16 short of 200 ticks we've locked in there now. If it comes right down and break this pivot, it's probably going to come down. So I've gone really tight now on this trading stop position. If I can break this high here and close above this high, I'll, I'm going to really go tight here at a 21820. We've seen exhaustion on RTY. I'm getting out and flattening, guys. <clears throat> exhaustion and turnaround on RTY on an ES there. There it goes, going down now. <clears throat> I'm out, okay? So way back when, let's make this chart a bit bigger. We had a one minute signal on the roller coaster, okay? We also have had a wave four pullback on the three and the five minute, and we wanted a fifth wave move. Remember the entry was gonna be above this pivot here, okay? Let's draw that on.
My entry for the roller coaster on the one minute was above that pivot. So this was a what we call is it? It's a recent try. You know, it tried the fifth wave but failed and pulled back. Find a higher support level. This short-term channel I draw on the beginning of the session really holding well. So we're looking for this entry here. You see at this pivot above there for the one minute and then it went then we sensibly used we switched them we're going to trade this fifth wave but we know when it reaches the previous third wave high there's always going to be a bit of a resistance level to push through there okay and that's what we found so we managed it sensibly we used the the roller coaster trailing stop positions to trail it through there i put on that um the bearish pen, the bullish pennant flag there to show you when it breaks out can be more confident in them moving up as we did. And then we went ultra conservative and just got out as I saw exhaustion on RTY and ES at the same time. So we took around about 200 ticks on that trade. Really fantastic trade. Uh, and it was textbook. OK, uh, and, you know, you might not get those, those every day, but you've got to try them. And right now, to try them with full contracts is foolhardy. Just if you can accumulate $180 um, a day just on that type of setup, never mind what else you're trading, it's really good.